Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where today we are going to fast travel to the Zentrum hideout hopefully and then we actually need to do a long rest uh, because I am sweepy very sweepy well okay so we just did the short rest and I, I was like it's fine Despite but everything. none of my spells have recharged whereas Keep a blade most close. everybody else is pretty good Soldier. but I think if we're gonna fight That's these amazing. guys I want to do it I think I don't think I have anything like holding me back from doing a long rest I hope Let's see what happens. Also, what's his name? He doesn't like me. How delicious. How delicious indeed. Look, it's like it says he's neutral, but he's getting into the territory where he doesn't like me because it was he disapproved of me helping of me saying no to the hag and just killing her. Uh, which, to be fair, was Carlag, but I feel like all the decisions are reflecting on me, and I wish that they wouldn't. Like, I wish that you could have, like, a companion in your party who would, like, do all the things that maybe you don't want to do, and, and, like, not have it affect you, you know? But I've heard, too, is the thing, is that, I don't know how true this is, but I think you can get, for example, you can become an Oathbreaker by association, if you're in, a, like maybe it's saying that you passively agree with what's going on and your oath is like, absolutely not. So I'm hoping it didn't do a hit against me for saying, oh yeah, I can raise your husband, even though I didn't do it, Gail did, but I was in the party about it, but then we broke the wand in half. So I don't know. If we do an oath breaker, it wouldn't be the worst thing. It could Still be alive. very interesting. So that's progress. Puppy? Hello, puppy. One day I'll catch a break. Come back. Come here. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am. I should play ball with him. Let's play ball. I can throw, wow, I can throw super far. This is what having great strength that is, it means that you can play ball with your beloved doggy properly. I need to put, where is the ball? He's like, why'd you throw it over there? I was just trying to give you more run time. There you go. All right, well. I'd like let's some see if anybody has anything to say. I don't think there'll oh, be okay. any more trouble between Lazelle and I, if you were wondering. We can all sleep easier now. Well. Apart from all the rest. That's a good. I'd rather keep things friendly between all of us. I'm a, a dork. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. Fine. What's on your mind? I'm holding up. I don't think I've what? a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I. Can't remember. When did what? When did this happen? Turn it. Okay, thanks. Hey, my puppy. Uh, that's that's great. I'm glad Shadow Art's happy with me. Speak. Yeah. Uh, uh. Well, I would if I could. Bye. Bye, Withers. You have anything? Or what? There you go. Rotting basket. Always a delight to speak with mm -hmm. you. What can I do? Mm -hmm. Bye. Well met. My dog keeps running around in the background everywhere I go. He's just following me. You wish to speak? Uh, bye. <gasps> There's the Here mirror. Oh, I don't, I don't need to do that, but... What are you thinking about? Oh, sure. Where would you start? Do we, can we just keep doing this? Kiss you for as long as you'd let me. All night. And then some. <laughs> God, I better find a way to cool me off soon. 
I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Also, if I uh, if I keep bothering her about it, is it going to be bad? I don't want to. I don't want to go talk to a stare. I know he's a tragic figure, and he's had like horrible things done to him. And I sympathize. Need something. But that doesn't mean he isn't mean to me. Or at least, you know, sometimes he is mean to me, honestly. Like, some of the things he says where he's just like, Ugh, you're disgusting. And I'm like, excuse you. <laughs> like, I didn't ask. <laughs> like, don't touch me. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. And I don't want you to touch me either. That was the whole issue here, that I don't want you biting me. Ah. Uh, even my friend, she was, she was romancing him, and she got the bite cutscene, and I still got the icks. Like, I didn't think I would get the icks necessarily for, like, sexy vampire bites, you know? Like, I grew up on that stuff. Grew up on Twilight and stuff, you know? But, like, I don't know. As an adult, I guess I've gotten boring. I don't know. I just... Friggin', I don't like it. Don't bite me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it. Go bite somebody else. <laughs> Um, but anyways, even back then, I was more under the werewolves than I was into the vampires. So, I definitely, uh, you know, as dumb as Jacob is, I was definitely more in the Team Jacob camp. <laughs> but, all of it's dumb. I'm Team Bella Get a Therapist, or Team Her Father, who was trying to be a good dad while Bella just was a moron. Yeah. Anyway. Let's... I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Yeah, I'm just not gonna worry about it. Let's go to bed. Yeah, I'm, I'm fully aware. Whoa, no, absolutely not. Why? Okay, some people have said that they get fancy and they actually pick their own. And they're like, what am I gonna have for dinner tonight? And I'm like, I just auto-select usually. Um... A headless fish. I mean, what do we want for dinner? Do we want some... Just some vegetables. Pumpkin. Squash. Haggis. Yee. Traditionally served with neeps and tatties. I know that sounds inappropriate. <laughs> what do I want for dinner out of all of this? Honey with ribs, maybe? Like honey honey glazed ribs, maybe? Oh, geez, apparently. Um, split item. Yeah, honey glazed ribs. That's what I want. But then I also want to drink with it. That one sounds nice. Frost kissed ale. And a butter bun. Yeah. Oh, it went over too. Okay, maybe just the frost kissed ale, butter bun. I know this is not a big deal. And the honey glazed ribs. <gasps> the owl! I was wondering if the owl bear baby was going to come. Blood. <gasps> it's Paul, baby. I will help you unless I critically fail, and then I will reload everything. Okay. Look. Cut. Listen, I know that having an owlbear cub as a, as a buddy is probably a bad idea. But look, I am a paladin, and I'm a nature paladin, and, and I have healing powers. Medicine, persuade. Oh, that's so mean. Me, I'll clean it for you. No, medicine. We'll medicine this up. Whoa! You're gonna have a super strong paw. What's gonna happen after this? As the wound closes, yeah, the cub begins testing his weight on the leg. Good. No hurt. Now don't eat us, okay, baby? How'd this happen? Teeth. Claws. Bigger. Well, you're lucky you only got scratched on your paw. Why? Strong. Fight! Win! Yeah, well, okay, yeah. Take on closer to something to your own... Uh, take on something closer to your own size next time. Not even fully grown and you're already trouble. Too big! Wait! Strong! 
show you. Oh no, please don't. I love him so much. <laughs> please don't fight me, Owl Bear Cup. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. I thought it was gonna be like, I'll show you how strong I am, and then like. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a baby. And then try to wrestle me or something. Home. <gasps> Home. Can I... P <gasps> I can pet you. Nice. No bite. <gasps> Yay. Don't bite me. I love you. Oh my gosh. It's so good. <laughs> See, this is the tip. By the time this game is done, I want to have an entire camp full of pets. This is how everybody plays D&D, even if you don't have animal handling. You see anything, sharp scales, claws, teeth, beak, fur, whatever, anything, you're like, can I pet it? <laughs> Truly, everyone's, like, fantasy dream is to have a gazillion interesting pets. All that probably want to eat you under different circumstances. Anyway, he's so cute. Okay, let's go to bed for reals now. And Kalak likes him. They totally would not leave their camps, like their nice cozy camps, to come sleep by the fire with me. Okay, as long oh, okay, are they gonna get along? Is doggy Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dang it! No, I didn't mean to click that! Oh go back to camp. Okay, phew. Uh I the reason I was like, oh no, was because I needed to cast two good animals first. Dog is unable to speak <gasps> through the small bag oh. he holds in his mouth. You guys are gonna get along. What do you got there, Scratch? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. It sounded like money, but it said bone. Who's a good boy? Oh no! Oh no! My oh my armor is freaking out. Larian, Larian. I have spikes now, and I don't. I didn't ask for them. Uh, a bone? Why? I mean, why did you... Why did you think of me? <laughs> Do you want the bone? Does, does my puppy want the bone? Are you guys gonna play? Because I will legitimately lose my mind if they start playing. Like, I don't think I can handle that level of cuteness. Um... What, okay, so we're gonna go fight. We're gonna go fight the big baddies now. The slavers. So maybe we switch Gale out for now, and we bring Will because I have to do halvesies with them. And now Gale has Fireball, and Will has Eldritch Blast. That's pretty leveled up. So yeah. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? Mm -hmm. Why is Will always drinking? I question the wisdom of that decision. I'll be here. Oh my. Why do I have the staff of. Is it a. Well, it's a good thing I didn't give it to him. I actually gave him the staff of something else, but. Why do I have that? Is it a. It's a quest item? Well met. That's the. That's the spirit. Um. Who all do I have here that does medium armor? Freaking, I mean... Oh, hey, oh, okay, I was glad I looked over here, jeez. There's something I've been wanting oh. to share with you. It, now's a good time. I mean, I'm not doing anything else. Checks my list of things to do. Are you unwell? I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. Oh? I think it might be easier to just show, show you. Show me what? Use the tadpole. Well, oh. The connection. Come into my mind. Uh, I don't... Mm, and, mm, I, I question the ethics of that. Are you sure? I'm sure. I trust this you. This feels sudden. I feel like she was... I mean, I don't think she's ever been, like, displeased with me, but... What am I gonna see? How I came to be who I what? am. What? How I found my way to Lady Shah's embrace. How did you acquire those memories again? 
I thought those were gone for now, or suppressed. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Also, I'm not sure I would technically use the parasite, because I'm trying to not, but here we are. It's part of the story. Sacrifice my morals for story. She was a cute little kid. I love her hair. Obviously in very dire predicaments. I think that wolf looks really friendly, personally. Never mind, not anymore. Oh! Is that a drow? my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home. Yeah, well, with Lady it's Shaw. easier to indoctrinate children. <laughs> it hurts. Maybe it only activates. That's all I remember. Maybe it only activates... Something sparks oh. in your memory about Salunite rites of passage. You heard once oh. about how they would send their children out into the wilds to navigate their way home. I think we actually read that. I wonder if her hand flares up only when she's having a reaction that could bring back her memories. Because she had this reaction... I don't know if it was in this save file or a different one. She had this reaction after the incident with the little tiefling girl in the grove when she was being treated poorly and was like being kept against her will in the druid grove and was that they were going to kill her maybe they were going to have the snake bite her uh and after you resolve that she has that reaction like Sh uh, shadowheart has that reaction um since then i don't think i've brought her out to that one any, and on any of the other like two times I've done it and she always I don't know she always seems to have the reaction at camp if you don't bring her out and I just thought it was a timing thing like oh you just you're timed you know like after a certain amount of time goes by she'll have this reaction um but I wonder if it always occurs after you deal with the child in the grove who's in a dire situation and it triggers a memory for her You look like you were wearing a moonstone. Isn't that commonly worn by a Selenite? I wonder if she was a part of a Selenite thing. Although, to be fair, if the Selenites are sending their children out into the wilderness, that doesn't make them seem any nicer than Lady Shars. Let's do the moonstone thing. <laughs> You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble, that's all. Oh. Just because Selenites claim something doesn't mean they own it. No wonder you're so dedicated to Shah. You feel like you owe your life to her. Lady Shah. But yes. Her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me. Trained me. Punished me when I failed her. Which was often... That sounds less than stellar. So, yeah. Abuse. Nonsense. The Mother Superior made me strong. For the Dark Lady. I mean, I, I would think she'd be like, yeah, it was abuse, it was to make me stronger, you know? And she didn't disapprove of me saying that. But, at least not up on the top left. Fine. What's on your mind? Now she's back to being snarky. Okay, bye. Well, uh, we're progressing with Shadowheart. One of the few spared from her amnesia. Or maybe she was left with a few, these few memories to like, 
that are like very integral to who she is as a person, right? Like just a couple so that she doesn't forget completely who she is. Though Shadow Heart reflected on the memory with gratitude towards her saviors, we couldn't help but point out that it seemed manipulative to ensnare a child in such a way. Sweet. Okay, so it does notice that I did that. I figured, I mean, probably the way you handle these things is marked very carefully, you know? Anyway, let's go. I don't think anybody else has anything for me, so onwards. No, oh, geez. Not end the day when we leave camp. Well, now I feel like I want to bring Shadowheart out some more, too. And she does have exceptionally useful skills. Maybe I'll switch her out with Asterion? I don't know. We'll see. I think all the baddies are over here. Light on my feet. Alright, so... Something over there. Oh. It's packed too tight. I'll need a shovel. I do have a shovel. Don't burn yourself. Did I sell, sell my shovel on accident? Nice and quiet. I must have. I sold a shovel, but it looked like I thought I was selling Carlax. Dang it. I thought I thought I was in Carlax inventory at the time and that she had a shovel. And I was like, oh, we don't need an extra shovel, you know. Dang navy. Dang navy. Anyway, let's have your boy over here. Now this is my happy place. No surrender. That woman gave us so much trouble before. Now she's gonzo. Nice, he caught it, but he can't throw it back. So I must not have those gloves on my monk. My monk, I think my monk actually got the ability to grab missiles and then throw them back, which has been sick. Let me I tell you. Whoa! Oh! I did not realize that was breakable. It's kind of a waste of a concentration spell, except it took out two people at once, so it's not. Oh, that's... That is good. I need to remember that the wood is breakable. <laughs> I never remember that. Finding my way. Actually, I don't want to stand too close to that. All right, Karlak. It's go time. It's go time, baby. Actually, let's do this one. Oh, that guy is still alive. Never mind. Lame. <laughs> Down with you. Oh, she's dead. Okay, well, that works too. Oh my gosh, we are destroying these people this time. Alright, I don't want to go near the cloud of daggers. I won't give in. What happened to my... I had a sword... a shield. Immune to simple poison. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, how about you just die down there? I was gonna blow this up, but that's fine. <laughs> this works too. Jeez. Coming through. This is really yes. working very well. Soldier. I'm gonna push you. <laughs> oh, I pushed him into the cloud of daggers for a second. That worked really well. I totally meant to do that. I love the double attack so much. Let's go. Dang it. I'm afraid to stand too close to it. A shovel! <laughs> Oh, dang it, there was- I had my extra moves, I forgot. I'm so lame. Dang it. Inoculated basic poison. Oh, we were inoculated by what? I don't even- Oopsie. I can't even catch my breath. On the 
Victor's path. I don't know what button I just pressed, but Coming it made a bunch of stuff pop up. Okie dokie. Hooray. Come on back, Asterian. I have a lot on my mind. How are we in and killing? Well, in it. That was so easy. Holy cow. Seems simple enough. I was hoping to get drow poison on my weapons, but I guess not. Where'd the shovel go? Did I already pick it up? I must have. Time to loot. Honestly, I really love playing with my friends because they're big loot people. And that means I don't have to be. And I don't, because I don't enjoy it. It takes too long. Oh, is this oil? Oh, buddy. I didn't even notice that when we were... Oh, my gosh. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, wow. Scroll of Expeditious Retreat. Scroll of Mirror Image. Scroll of Feather Fall. And each of you turns until the spell ends, and it's a concentration spell. Okay. Well, this means I had to check literally everything, which I don't like doing. I have to check the guys that we pushed off, the guys and gals. My friend did make a good point that, um, because I'm like, woo, let's push everybody off. And she did say, um, that you don't get their loot if you do that. So, uh, maybe don't do that. Oh, hey, you got all the way up there. Jeez. A key, a key. Ha! Huh? What? Who is this man? He was a dye man? Lime, lemon, and lichen dye. Oh my gosh. Dye remover. I was curious if we had that capability. Deep lilac, black and summer green, black and jade, black and azure, baby blue and gold. Are you serious? And he has a shovel. The man's got it all. Oh, there's so many people down here who died. Holy cow, this, why does she have so much? A small dragon is cut into the hand. Why do these people have... Why do they have so much? Another Zentr... I just... I am beyond... They were really... Well, this is what happens, I guess, when you... Oh, dang it. Oh, I think that's up above? Okay. This is what happens when you, um, are slavers, I guess? I don't know. You get a lot of stuff. Well, now I'm taking it. Because nobody should feel bad st stealing from slavers. I wonder if you could knock the braziers over. Hang on, I'm... That, like... Uh, <laughs> the alchemist fire has, um glitched into the air like it used it was probably there and then uh what's hiding here um just didn't fall with everything else so i guess that's nice that might be worth a look. okay behind that box we also wizard's bane oil stargars receive a minus three penalty to spell attack rolls and spell safety seen expanding on saving throws for maintaining concentration and man that's definitely a wizard's bane thing Overcome resistance to non-magical damage. That is so cool. I need to check all these things. Move that. <laughs> I'm way too big. Also, okay, so my friend. Oh, I don't think I gate. gave Will Mage Hand. My friend used Mage Keep Hand to get through those little burrows, and I was like, yet. "You're a genius." And I was like, "Just." Lord, flabbergasted in awe of how intelligent she is. I'm like, until I can shape shift, which is not gonna happen with this character. Need to find a way forward. Okay, I feel like that's the door that would go to the main place. Oh, I hear speaking of rats, hold on, where the rat? Disorders and nerves of the mind, ornate chest, blah blah blah. Okay, they're both actually, if I just look at the map, these are both just rooms, it looks like. 
Yeah. Rat, though. Rat. I'm like waiting to see if I see any movement. I don't. I was like, I have a gazillion keys, so. This is a nice pad. Painting of a smiling maiden. Asterion can have that, and we can put it in the to sell. But I feel like he would collect paintings. How about this? <laughs> I don't need a reflection to know this looks fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. You are fabulous. Mm. <laughs> I don't need a reflection to know this looks fabulous. A disorders of the nerves and mind. Why? There came to me a woman who I shall henceforth call R, greatly distraught at the unusual templates of her husband, whom I shall henceforth call B. Three months prior, he'd suffered night sweats, crying out from sleep, but he bore the mark of chaos. Two months prior, he'd taken, in, taken to call himself by the name Savarok. Saravok. I feel like I recognize that name. One month ago, he'd speak of little else but the throne for which he is destined. I attended to be at the couple's farmhouse. He sat calmly at the table, an unknown book clutched to his chest. I detected no curse nor the loathsome spirit upon him, nor the presence of magic. Yet upon shining the light of candle flame upon him, he raised the book high and exclaimed, The death they will bring shall awaken the father, and through them he will rise. I snatched the book from his hand and flung it into the hearth where it burned not red or yellow flame, but pure black, but a single scrap reading, he foresaw his coming death and seated his essence across the land. B shivered and sighed, as if waking from a nightmare. He had no memory of the book nor the words he had spoken. Specific diagnosis, unspecified neurotic enthrallment, treatment, herbal tincture of garlic and drace, dip, sip thrice daily until exhaustion lives. I think I would be not very exhausted very quickly if I had to do with that. Drinking that. What oh, I see the chest over there. Backpack. Nothing in the backpack. Notes from a soothsayer. Each chapter in this book details a unique case study in the soothsayer Geraldine Harvelow's illustrious career. Its 23rd chapter is conspicuously dog-eared. Why do these people... Oh, well, no. I mean, I can see why slavers would want to be, like, mentally manipulative and would have maybe, like, psychology textbooks, but having that particular one seems a bit on. The Frightened Noble and the Ochre Omen. Here under I have described... Transcribed a conversation between myself and a young noble man of my lifelong acquaintance. Typically, he came to me for guidance in matters of love and fortune, but his visit to me on a particular occasion stands out particularly in my mind. Madame, please, what I say to you is true. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to repeat it for the record. The fellow I met was ochre of skin, with ears like an elf and the nose of a half rotted corpse, markings like those on a fawn decorated his skin. I see him. What did he say as he approached you in that, what was it? Mystic glen upon your lens. <laughs> The fellow, the creature, the man came to me slowly, a blade in his right hand. I was transfixed as I was stricken stiff by some magic. He held the sword below my chin and asked me something I could not understand. I can see it now, the blade, silver as the moon, and as the moon in a lake beneath my chin. Calm yourself, sir, you are quite safe. You say you could not understand what the fellow said. At first, no. No, at first I knew not what tongue he spoke, but he seemed to glean my confusion and tried in common instead. And he said, tell me now, which plane is this? And it was then I lost grasp of the ghost and fainted directly on the ground. Oh, it was probably... Probably a githyanki. Yeah, a marking is like those of a fawn decorated his skin. Yeah, and the nose of a half rotted corpse. That's a little mean, but I can see where that came from. And then when I awoke, you, I know not how much later, he was gone, and I flew to you. I understand, child, be not frightened, for you've been visited by a most suspicious omen. Your crops will yield twice their wealth this year. Truly, but who was he? He was a figment of your inner daemon, a messenger from your deepest intuition, and he came to inform you of your impending luck, and I tell you, it was so. He's lucky he didn't get freaking just murked. I don't need Oops. any attention right didn't now. Didn't mean to do that. Definitely take the gold. Book, 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 book. Open up. Oh! Swarthy Wayfarer in green, a most adventuresome and spring heel variety of ensemble perfect for journey makers and risk takers. I could wear that. A snug purple shirt that's not purple. Teal slim outfit. Oh my gosh. Accentuating all features, turning stockiness into slenderness, turning bare belly into, well, an ale gut, but even so, a win overall. <laughs> These look excellent. And a pair of breezy sandals, apparently. These look like something that would be fun to wear for, um, 
Um, uh, for, 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 for this. Let's see. <gasps> oh, I do like it. I do, I do, I do. Is the style... Yeah, there, that's different. And we have... Hmm, no, that's definitely a Gale look. <laughs> it's just a corset. <laughs> Teal slim outfit. All I wanted. That's unfair. Is that what it looks like on the boys? On the right? That's what I wanted. Why do I get the corset version? I am upsetty spaghetti, honestly. Breezy sandals. I'm gonna wear some breezy sandals. Man, I really want it. Oh, fiddly. Oh well, I'll do the Link cosplay. I like it. <laughs> I do like my only clothes though. Let's Let's see. Hang on, hang on. Let's see how Teal... Teal could look really good on Carlac. I'm actually thinking my initial thought was I'll Will, do, honestly. Because he likes to wear crop tops. I mean, it looks fine. Mm, I like... Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, where are her regular clothes? Also, oh my gosh, before I forget, I am going to forget. I need to make sure I turn on the, the nudity off thing because I don't want to have to deal with it later. I had, I think I had it not worried about it, but I'm going to have to edit that and I don't want to. So, uh, da -da, where am I going to find that? Okay, it was not in the freaking, the settings where everybody said it was. It was under accessibility, not gameplay. But, alas. Uh, ornate. Let's get going. Chest. Excuse me, Abyss Beckoners. Demon Spirit or the wearer's wear summon creature has resistance to all damage except psychic damage. The start of the summon creature's turn, it must succeed. A wisdom saving throw or be driven mad. What else does this say? Demons will bite their master, slaves, comrades, and on occasion themselves. They bite on principle and are functionally piranha with extra steps. <laughs> mm. So I'm going to Asterian. He likes things that bite. Oh, and I should turn back on Whoa, my body. Oop. Wonder if I could sell Zentrum Be wary. This place is trapped. Wonder if I could sell Zentrum Key. How yes. delicious. How delicious. Let's go, buddy. This is what you're here for. Holy cow, look at all that. Ew. Wow. Lot of improficiency and expertise. Alright, you can open it. Oh. Oh, maybe I have to Never open it, actually. Moment. No? Oh, okay. Looking maybe. ahead. Hmm? All right. Lockpick. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Total bonus plus nine. Good. Maybe? Oh, wait. No. No! Let's see if we can do it again. Roll again. He's got four. I might as well use it. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. And infernal iron. Very cool. Can't give up now. I am taking that. And I will give it to Carlac. Nice. All right, and now we well, let's see. Sample. Topic. Nice. What in the money? Send that to me. We are rolling in the dough. Interesting times. This is good though because the armor is quite expensive. The couple of sets that I bought from the druid guy were pretty expensive. So I feel like the money's gonna go fast when we get to Baldur's Gate or thereabouts. Wish I had a bag of holding. Listen, me too. Me too. 
Uh, but, oh, it was the, the burrow it was on the outside. It was probably to get into here. Watching me. Well, I think that's everything then. Except for this stupid guy. Whatever that is. I haven't found the treasure yet. So I'm not like that worried about it, honestly. Or wait, no, sorry, not that one. That's the, the necromancy one, but this guy. The rest of it is moon well underdark and moonrise stuff sweet which apparently you can go back like if you pick the underdark route well, apparently you can do all the underdark and then go back up and choose the the what is it the route up there um the mountain pass um but that's where the crush is but apparently you can when you get to act two area you can go back to the mountain pass which you'll need to for the crash for Lizelle, as far as I know. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Adam. Thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.